What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the Game here. Welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day, as I am. Um, but yeah, we're out here. We're chilling. We're big chilling. Big, big, big chilling. We gotta get a... Uh, we got a decent episode, actually, like, on our way. Um, let's go ahead and do a team recap. Get that all assorted. We got our girl, Cassandra, with the, the infiltrator ability, Muddy Water, Dragon Pulse, Sparkling Aria, Core and Force. So we got Joey with Low Sweep. Secret Power, Dark Slayer, and Storm Throw with the Full Metal Body ability with the Quick Claw because, you know, might as well get the 10% chance to be faster than everything. We got Selfie with Brutal uh, Thick Fat ability, Brutal Swing, Topsy Turvy, Dragon Claw, and Dark Slayer. We got Nick with Photon Geyser, Moon Geyser Beam, Earth Power, and Amnesia. We have Fitta because it's going to fit a sweep with the Photon Geyser, Discharge, Waterfall, and Moon Blast. And lastly, we got Aaron, the Full Metal Body Mega Mewtwo X with Cross Top, Psycho Cut, Earthquake, and Aqua Tile. Now, again, Quick team recap, that was totally perfect. That was exactly what I wanted. Today we have four encounters, and we might be able to take on Solaria. Um, and you know, if we could take on Solaria, that'd be kind of like phenomenal if we could do that. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but we got because we got the Team Skull, but we don't have like a big fight with Team Skull. We got six Pokemon entirely there to fight. So it's not like a massive fight. Then we got the Solaria fight. So hopefully. We can just, you know, get our encounter super duper quickly, not have to worry about anything, and just kind of chill, relax, have a good time, not lose anything. All the positivities, considering that your boy has to work in the morning. Um, it is 10 o'clock at night, and so we're going to do the, like, hopefully, like I said, a 20 minute video, um, knock it out, and then kind of chillax, get ready for bed, um, edit. I got to edit. Uh, cage lock, but that's literally all I gotta do. So, with the beautifulness of that, it'll make things a million times easier. Um, so yeah, there's not much that we have to do. So, geez, like, what sucks? So, I got a massive. I don't know if you guys know what cold sores are, um, or canker scores. So, cold sores are on the outside, canker scores are in the inside. Side. So, I got a massive canker sore on like. That right here, like, you can't even see it, but, like, like right here, right next to, like, where my nose is. I get a lot of zits, like, around the nose and stuff. And so, having that canker sore right here, freaking, it hurts. Um, it's not fun, especially when your job, you literally talk all day and, you know, communicate with people and, you know, and then your hobby is to talk all day and communicate with people. There's kind of a running trend here. You know, for an introvert as such as myself, I talk to a lot more people than a normal introvert would. But I just get recharged in the comfort of my own home, hanging out, just not really worrying about anything. I actually be really interested to take another Myers Briggs. I have not taken it in about a year now, um, or maybe like six months. So things may have changed in my Myers Briggs personality test. Um, because there's a lot of developmental things that happen within people that are my age. Um, but let's go, Crobat. That's an amazing encounter. Me likey. I like Crobat. Crobat is the Brobat. Let's go. That actually was that actually sounded so cool. Um, I like the way that ended up sounding. But yeah, Crobat is the Brobat. Um, we definitely want to have it. Um, I don't want to go into Joey, preferably, but I might have to do that. Um. Although, yeah, cause it's like, Cassandra's got really good moves. That's the issue, right? It's because with Cassandra having, like, super decently good moves. Let's go to Sophie, actually. Sophie could probably actually damage this thing. Because this is much more of a physical bulk Pokemon rather than a special bulky Pokemon. Gastric acid? Oh, why do you have to have a trash move? You're not allowed. You're not allowed to have trash moves. That's like forbidden. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and brutal swing because that sounds like a great idea. Dragon claw might have been better, but dragon. Oh god, wait, that's flying, right? That's like Rayquaza's move, but it's flying. Lowers. Oh, well, so long. Let's go. I actually thought Crowbot was gonna die. Um, I actually, you know, I really assumed the Crobat was about to die, but, oh, gotta remember, we have a Master Ball, so we can utilize that in a beautiful, blessed way, 
um, if we do the right thing here. So we should be able to catch you because you're a Crobat and you're low health. Kind of a pretty good catch rate. Nice. Got the first one down off the bat like that. You know, got to make that a wrap. Um, I don't know. That, that was terrible. Um, but we are going to name this Basu after Basu Finn. Um, Basu the Crobat. Because, you know, I mean, some people already have, like, basically guaranteed nicknames until we get members and stuff. Um, because then, you know, like I said, in Genlock, or in, uh, stuff, in Monthlock, it'd be different. Let's go ahead and see the summary. We have a, last time I actually had one was, uh, that, uh, Dragon Ascent, Magic Room, Gastric Acid, and Bel Belch. Wow. That's got to be, like, the worst moveset I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and place you in the bag. You're a good Jet 2 Mon, so you're something that I can kind of hold out in the box. Um, I don't mind that at all. Um, I'm going to get my actual encounter as well in this patch of grass. And it is a... Drum roll, please. Moltres. Let's go. Master Ball, 100%. This is worth a Master Ball. Considering we don't have very many encounters left. Um, tur <laughs> Turbo! Let's go! Turbo Blaze means it powers up fire type moves 50%. Stab on top of that. This thing is busted. Let's freaking go. Um, yeah, Master of Ball worthy. We are going to name this thing. Hmm. We're going to name this thing Atlas. Atlas. Um, it is a non-binary Pokemon. So we're going to name this thing Atlas. Atlas. Set it in the box. And that's... That was actually perfect. You know what? I'm not even going to lie. Um... And we got another Pokemon, which is Wobbuffet. Another good Gen 2 Mon. You know what? I will take a bulky Gen 2 Mon. Definitely, we got a Sweeper from Gen 2. Now we got a bulk, a chunky bulk Mon from Gen 2. Like, definitely I'm willing to take that. Muddy Water should do a considerable damage. Unfortunately, because you are a Wobbuffet. Damn. Oh, that was a crit. That mattered. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, that's for sure mattered. There's no way in hell that didn't. Um, Fitta is level 60. Let's freaking go Fitta. And the last Mon for, uh, for encountering on today's episode is going to be a... Hopefully it's good. I have never use this Pokemon ever in my life have I used this Pokemon you know that's actually pretty cool it's definitely cool when you get new Pokemon because this is like a bulky Mon so like I'm not even worried but when when I hit this thing with a core enforcer like it should do like 50 someone percent like 57 I'm assuming yeah that's about it it's exactly what it did um, it's got liquidation. It should not hit me very much. It's meant to be a bunch of, a bu a bunch of, uh, big, uh, it's meant to be a big Stallion. There we go. And so, it being the level that it is, and the situation that it has it at, so. But yeah, we should nail that. It's pretty, like I said, pretty good Pokemon. We'll definitely take that. Good W, good W, let's go. Uh, but yeah, we definitely at this pace are 100% going to be fighting Solaria unless we have a extremely terrible situation happen. Um, Pugamuku's date is being added to the Pokedex. Um, but yeah, so it's been registered, which is beautiful. And we are going to name you... We're going to name you Corncob. Actually, no. We're going to name... You know, I can't steal Frank and Ryan's meme. We're going to name this Pepsi. And if you know why we're naming it Pepsi, then you are amazing. If you don't, that's okay. But it's named Pepsi for a reason. It has the Moxie ability with the Electrizer. 
weird. <laughs> That's got a positive speed nature too, you know. Gotta gotta get the positive speed nature for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, that's funny. Not even gonna lie, that's hilarious. That of course, this Pokemon with five base speed has a uh, negative speed nature, like or a positive speed nature. Excuse me. Um, Executor is gonna lift us up. I'm ready to get the flute. The flute of happiness. The sun flute. Oh, it's the moon flute. I'm dumb. Duh, you're playing Pokemon Moon. Of course it's the moon flute. Um, and then Lily's gonna talk to us, I think. No, Lily's not gonna talk to us. Okay, I thought Lily talked to us. I, my brain is not here, apparently. You know, I said we were gonna fight Solarium. It definitely depends on what happens with uh, Team Skull. It really does. If Team Skull decides they want to be nice for once in their life, which is highly unlikely, um, what's our situation, HP situation look like? Okay, it's actually looking pretty. Looking pretty decent. But yeah, look at that, look at that, look, look, let's go. Continue, continue, go, 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 go. Nice, I feel like I'm in a race, but I'm really not. Um, but yeah, no, I like that. That's that's very beneficial. We're gonna go ahead and move on our way up and fight Team Skull. That was actually really, uh, we did a really good job on that. I, I am proud of the fact that we were able to get through that that fast. But no, like how, is everybody's days? How's life? What's what? Um, but yeah, we're gonna fight this girl who has one Pokemon. Unless it's this girl has five. No, I think this girl has one and then the, the boys have five because it's one per each boat person. Yeah, okay, good. And you are gonna have a drum roll, please. Meta gross. Okay. You're gonna have a tough Pokemon, which I respect highly. Um, like, I'm glad it's a tough Pokemon that we're getting and not, like, a super easy, like, not have to worry at all. Like, we're good. Magic Coat. I thought Mirror Coat for a second was going to freak out, but I realized in my head, I was like, wait, that's Mirror Coat, not Magic Coat. But, oh my gosh, that does absolutely no damage. We have no, we have no true method of helping ourselves out, do we? No, Nick has, a uh, Earth Power. And Moon Guys Beam, we're good. Ah, I just ate dinner, and part of the chicken was in my teeth. It's annoying when that happens. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Moon Guys Beam because that's more powerful. Um, it, you keep going for Magic Coat, that's fine. If you want, if you think I'm gonna try and do something bad to you, that's fine. Okay, so we got the Moon Guys Beam, which is going to. Below back the Metagross, it's gonna die right there. And we're gonna go into the 5v6. Um But yeah, no, I hate I hate okay, so I I of course we're humans, we're omnivores. And I eat meat and I eat vegetables and uh stuff like that. The thing about meat though is it always gets stuck in your teeth and it gets so annoying. Cause I hate when things get stuck in my teeth. And so when chicken or beef or literally anything gets stuck in my teeth it's so ridiculously annoying I just am like oh I get so tired of it um age trainer you're gonna have a meganium to start okay I will have to pop a swap but a meganium that's that's a pretty cool Pokemon to start out with um but yeah like I said I will have to pop the swap unfortunately because we don't have anything for grass type Grass type is kind of like our number, our low key, like our weakness right now. 
Uh, but we have no way to counterbalance it, so. Nothing we can do. Please get a crit. High critical hit rate. Whoa! You, that, whoa! The fact that that didn't even do a half to a Meganium is freaking insane amongst anything else. Uh, Spike Shield, does that hurt me? Because Cross Chop makes co contact, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, I know. It's a little scary when you have a specific type of Pokemon, though. You just can't. Oh my god, you lived on one. Okay. Trying to think of a move that I have that doesn't do damage, and that would be Earthquake. And you're in range of killing, so. Actually, still might Earthquake, just because we are indeed in range. Nice, nice. Um, you'll kind of see what this Mega Mewtwo wants to do. So if he's level 59, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Two cannon. Two cannon kind of sucks that we have to deal with that right now, but... Gonna go into Fitta. We're gonna discharge. We're gonna figure this out. Two cannon, though, is a tough bug one. Didn't really want to have to deal with it for a long while. But yeah, we are in the 60s, which is kind of crazy to think about. Like, being in the, like, starting to creep into the 60s. Ooh! That could have been way worse than that was. That, and that crit, that could have been so much worse. Holy crap. Um, then, Nick is 59. We'll take that. Nick wants to learn Prismatic Laser. That's the bad one, right? That's the 160 base. Yes. Naganadel. Ooh. Naganadel is a bit of an issue. Um... Poison Dragon. Gonna go into Nick, and we're gonna Photon Geyser. Hopefully that'll do enough damage to kill. You are a Naganadel. Are you gonna be a B? I'm curious. Are you gonna be a B? Is it gonna be a classic Murder Hornet? Darn it! I, I was kinda hoping that I could title it The Murder Hornet Has Arrived. But I can't, because it's not a B. Um... Honestly, though, Naganadel is literally like a murder hornet. Not even gonna lie. It's like entire purpose. It has the same kind of... Because it's like entire purpose is to suck the living daylight out of like anything it sees. Uh, and the murder hornets do that to other bees. So, which is why they're a problem. Because um, bees are amazing and lovely and... Oh my god, can we not have anything that's like... Terrible, like Heatran, Naganadel. We've had so many problem Pokemon, problematic Pokemon today. Um, Earth Power should Oko though, so I'm not. I shouldn't be too worried, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and fight uh, Solario. She's gonna be 57 across the board, so she's gonna be a lot scarier. Uh, Kamo, oh my gosh, bruh, Kamo, oh Heatran, Naganadel, um, and all the other. Two cannon with a, like she had a they had a team like they really did have a team. But yeah, move blast should kill. Ooh, D dance. You actually had a good move set too. Okay, dude. If it lives and it had weakness policy, that's gonna be a move. But it doesn't. Okay, good. And we got another Ace Trainer. Okay, awesome. So, time to fight Solaria. Get Solaria out of the way. Because, you know, I figure we're going to get healed anyway. I think we actually get healed before we head into this, so. So, yeah, we'll finish this off with Solaria and call it a good episode, I think. I think this has been one of those really fun, energetic episodes that kind of have gone in many different ways. Um, 
But yeah. Kind of insane. Thanks for helping me. And you just, yeah, there we go. There's the heal that I was expecting. Um, Vast Pony Canyon. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and fight Solaria. Like I said, the really tough, tough as nails girl. But. I haven't heard this music. It's so jungly. Like, I wouldn't have expected it to be as jungly as it is. We definitely don't fight you yet. I can guarantee you don't fight Hapu yet. Because that's in Sun and Moon that you fight her. 100%. It's just Sun and Moon that you fight her. And then in Ultra Sun and Moon, you fight her in Executor Island. Please, wave. Just as you use your own strength to overcome the trials before you, perhaps it is time we stop relying on others instead and take matters into our own hands. Now that we've learned what to do in Pokemon battles ourselves, I think we can be able to resolve the situation with the Krasma on our own. If I'm strong enough, then we can do it. If I'm the only one strong enough to defeat you. Dude, if Solaria wrecks my time, she can wreck my time so quickly. But... Like, I can see it. It's Solaria. She's a mother friggin' B-I-T-C-H. Why can't you be shiny? I love shiny freaking this. I, like, I literally cannot, like, I've talked about it so many times. I cannot stand Solaria. Solaria can go die, and I would be totally fine. Um, Feta, get out here. Please use a dragon move. Use a dragon move, please. I would be so freaking thrilled if you used a dragon move right now. Dragon Rush, let's go! Okay, we're gonna Moonblast you. That should take you out. You're a Haxorus. Core Enforcer doesn't affect me either, so that would, we do have a complete direct counter. Beautiful, what a start. Um, you did nothing. That's not good. Okay, but anyway, we do have a direct counter. I am not worried in the slightest um, because you only have Dragon Moves while you're using it. Mon one out of the way. Braviary. Oh, okay. It's literally risky. That's the title of the episode. Let's go! Because <laughs> that's a double meaning. I love double meanings. That's like my favorite. It's like you get a word with double meanings and that's like automatically my favorite. And that, that, that sentence has a double meaning. Um, okay. <laughs> that was great. Actually, I'm literally... That was 100%. <laughs> uh, we paralyzed the Braviary, so it's not as risky. Uh, luckily, that should... Oh, okay. Happy Hour. Imagine if she just Z-Happy hour right there. I might have been a little bit upset, but it would... Because it would have lived, and then it would have been a lot more cause for concern. Braviary is gone, luckily. So two mons left, or four mons left, excuse me, before the end of the episode. It is A. Entei. Ooh. Okay, so Cassandra, get out here. This is where Cassandra shines. Cassandra will now reach level 60 after this. Let's go, Cassandra. Um, and Entei is not shiny either. Darn, I was hoping for one. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and Sparkling Aria. This should do a lot, at least 66%. This will do, like, nothing. This will do, like, 18 damage. You know what? I was close. It did 21. It's probably a roll. Um, I'm expecting this to do 75. Let's go! 
Bruh, my rolls are on freaking point. I love it so much. Uh, but yeah, having a hard counter to anti, that's definitely very helpful. Um, but yeah, anti is gone. Anti is, that's beautiful. And we got the next Pokemon, which is a... Cassandra wants to learn Roar of Time. That's not going to happen. I don't like recharge moves. Sorry. You're not learning it. Although it would be cool to see a freaking Kingdra use that. Ga Speaking of Gen 4 Legendaries, Garatina is coming up. It is going to go in. We're going to go ahead and go into Sophie on this one. Um, oh, boy. So she's had Entei, Garatina, and Haxorus. Holy crap. Ante, Garatina, and Haxorus. Bruh. And you have another Mon that I can't remember, but it wasn't as good, so that's why I don't remember it. But still, the, the, just those three, Ante, Garatina, Haxorus, that's just big. Oh my god. That was Cross Chop. That was definitely a cross shop. Um, that had a high chance to crit and we survived. Lucky us. Moonblast shouldn't need to kill this, hopefully. Oh, Solaria. Why do you have to be a butt nugget? Like, honestly. Sol oh my god, you lived on one. Good job. I knew the Hyper Potion was happening. Um, it's funny though, the Hyper Potion, like, is that, that literally proof. The Hyper Potion literally means absolutely nothing. Uh, but yeah, that was a Garatina. That was a big problem. Okay. Sophie's level 60. Let's go. Joey's level 60. Nick's level 60. There we go. That's the team going to level 60. Right. Perior is the next Pokemon. We do have something for that. We got Cassandra. Cassandra's going to freaking sparkling Aria and kill this thing. Get this thing out of the way. And then there's going to be one Mon left. 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 Let's freaking go. I just love the fact that I'm not, like, abusing Mega Mewtwo either. Like, I have it, but I'm not abusing it. Like, I could totally be one of those people that just abuse Mega Mewtwo and we just use that the entire playthrough. That is not me. That's not what I want to do. Um, a Guzzlord. My gosh. Well, speaking of not wanting to abuse it, um, I'm going to have to now because, actually, no. It's heavy enough that, nope, I'm thinking the wrong move. Uh, Aaron and Crosschop. Right. No, uh -huh, it's neutral. Whereas on Joey, it's not. On Joe, yeah. It's not neutral on Joey. It's resisted on Joey. Dragon attacks are gonna suck. But yeah, I wish I could learn low kick. I'm gonna storm throw this. It's gonna be 90 base power. Quick claw pops. I don't think it really mattered though. This should do some decent damage, though. Yeah, okay, awesome. Cool. Oh my god, okay. This is a Pokemon that Core Enforcer is gonna hurt. Okay, we're good. Uh, quick, yeah, quick call pop didn't matter. I knew you were pretty slow. I figured you were slower than Joey, but yeah, there we go. Another episode where nothing dies. Aaron goes to level 60. That will take for sure. And we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. If you guys liked it, make sure you like that like button. Or hit that like button. And, you know, hang out, chill, in another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock on Tuesday. Because this is Monday's episode. So Tuesday's episode, we'll be trying to get through the entirety of Vast Pony Canyon. Um... And we will, yeah, honestly, we don't have that much of this series left. Uh, time to get stuff figured out for Slugalog, honestly. that We got to move on to the next adventure kind of prematurely. Um, it's kind of 
kind of how my brain is working, right? That's kind of the next adventure. But yeah, I love you all. You have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace.